I'm Olivia Larson. I'm a sophomore at Omaha Central High School. <laughs> Seventh grade choir practice. Prep for the flower festival, the soprano beside me asked to borrow my lip color. Two weeks later, she's sitting beside the boy I liked and teasingly complimenting my lips that are swelling like a pair of inflating balloons still connected to my face. Impetigo a bacterial infection that causes six blisters scattered across my face like landmarks of each stupid person who said, are you using lip plumper? Five prescription bottles for the pain, healing the sores, easing, easing the spots, and eye drops in case I itched my eyes once without washing my hands, I lost 20 pounds and grew as white as the sheets I called home for two weeks. But it's okay. Because after cleaning out the PG-13 section, my dad rented me R-rated movies. I was 14 when it struck again Christmas break. My friends dropped off cookies at the door, and I watched them go stale until finally the dog ate them. No one was surprised because they knew that I couldn't. I went back to UNMC, and my doctor asked me, how much do you know about herpes? I hadn't even had my first kiss yet. When I did, four months later, I had to explain I was on medication now. No one knew the politically correct term, but even random classmates knew about the sickness that quaked me like clockwork every winter. Every day, I bite a pill that will attempt to keep it away. So the flaws in my immune system that let it slip through in the first place. There's a constant vigilance in me that I will maintain for my life. I still panic. Remember only ingesting Gatorade, never leaving the heart house without a surgical mask, without a scarf to cover my surgical mask, and pouring hot water on my lips in the morning so I could open them. I filled out medical forms omitting a significant detail of what has shaped me, because there's no box you can check for this wasn't my fault. Stood in pharmacy lines with dark sunglasses in case I'm recognized. Healed or not, I'm tired of anticipating gasps and wide-eyed looks from the mostly ignorant populace's belief that there is one type of herpes and one type of person 